Alrighty, next game up here is the Chargers at the Ravens. And man, oh man, Ravens just absolutely destroyed the Chargers. Sheesh, sheesh. And we got another kind of instance of Brandon Staley being aggressive. And this was the first time that it really bit him in the butt. So next week, are we still going to get the big aggressive Brandon Staley? Or is this kind of a uh, big blowout loss? Like, hey, I need to tone it in. Oh, this is, this is why coaches don't always go for on fourth down oh this is why because it doesn't always turn good like it's always been turning good so far for Brandon Staley so this was his first kind of taste of hey being aggressive early and often is not the right move because we get it right here the Chargers find themselves down 14 nothing, and Brandon Staley is like, we need to do something quick. We need to do something quick because he went for it on fourth and three from his own 39-yard line. His own 39-yard line down 14 to nothing. Urgency was right here. Brandon Staley felt the game slipping away from him, but it was only nine minutes left in the second quarter. <laughs> I mean, it's a little too early to start kind of thinking the game is over at this point, down 14 nothing. The offense really couldn't move the ball um, leading up to this point so I don't understand what gave him the confidence to go for it on fourth and three so uh, he went for it there unfortunately did not get it it results into three points so that's still I mean not bad there to kind of go for it to get some momentum and only give up three points in the process that's not the worst case but still I don't know if we do that again fourth and three from your own 39 yard line in the first half Especially down 14 nothing. Maybe if you're up 21 nothing, you've got fuck. I mean, yeah, let's keep up the scoring. Let's keep the pedal on the metal. You know what we mean? But uh, And then we get an interception here. Uh, but, uh, you know, kind of bailed out again because uh, the Ravens and Lamar Jackson throw an interception right off of the interception. And then they're able to go down and score six points, making it 17-6 to six, go, heading into halftime. But then we get um kind of aggressive again, again. Brandon Staley aggressive here. They're down twenty four to six with their first drive out of halftime, and once again Brandon Staley goes for it. Fourth and one at their own nineteen yard line. At their own nineteen yard line. So once again being aggressive. There's five minutes left here in the third quarter, but once again they're they're um, fourth down. Not conversion, their turnover turnover on downs, if you will. It resulted in only three points for the Ravens. So you went forward in your own territory two times and only gave up six points. I don't know if Brandon Staley's gonna learn his lesson because of that. So we'll see if he's continuing to be aggressive here. The offense was just not existing here for the Chargers this week. Truly unfortunate. Uh Ravens defense locking down Justin Herbert and company. So let's start here with the Chargers. Justin Herbert goes 22 of 39. 22 of 39. Yikes. 56% uh, completion percentage, 195 yards, dink and dunk, and then one touchdown and in one interception. Like we said, the interception gets bailed out with a Lamar Jackson interception. So the offense was just non-existent. The running game was also non-existent as well. Justin Herbert was the leading rusher. With 12 yards. <laughs> uh, Austin Eckler, six carries for seven yards. That's absolutely atrocious. Joshua Kelly, four receptions or four carries for seven yards as well. So, did they hang on? Joshua Kelly, uh, isn't he a quarterback? He didn't throw the ball. Did they, they, did they take Herb out the game? No, they didn't. Okay. Okay. Uh, but either way, uh, non-existent offense here for the Chargers. No rushing game. And we get it. You are down decently big early in this game. You know, down 14 nothing at the end of the first quarter, basically. But, man, oh, man, you've got to establish your running game at some point. Gosh, dang. So, offense here for the Chargers, non-existent. Brandon Staley's first kind of punch in the mouth here as a head coach. We'll see how he responds. And he's kind of, he's been getting you know favorable in the in kind of the media spotlight as well. Everybody's saying Brandon Staley is a great head coach, and I'm kind of you know I'm I'm falling a little in like with Brandon Staley as well. Um, everybody you know is saying oh this is my new favorite head coach and all this, so maybe it's going to his head a little bit. And we'll see if this loss this blowout loss brings him down to earth a little bit heading into next week. All right, who was Justin Herbert? Uh, throwing to this game, we had Keenan Allen, five receptions, 50 yards. Austin Eckler, four receptions, 48 yards. Mike Williams, two receptions, 27 yards. Jared Cook, <coughs> um, four receptions, 
25 yards, and he was the only one to score a touchdown. Shout out to tight end university, baby. So just non-existent offense the entire game here for the Chargers on the road. But there was offense here by the Ravens, folks. 34 points. Amar Jackson doing his thing right here. Uh, and he didn't really have to throw that much like we kind of know this Ravens team is. We know they're very, very in love with the rushing attack right here. Uh, but uh, Lamar Jackson goes 19 of 27, passing 70% completion percentage, fa uh, percentage, fantastic. 167 yards passing, one touchdown, and he did throw two interceptions. Unfortunate on his part. Let's see where these came. The first interception came off of the Justin Herbert interception, which resulted into six points overall for the Chargers. So not great there. And then his second and last interception came in the fourth quarter and they were at their own 38 yard line and once again the game was over at this point in the fourth quarter about seven minutes left in the game and the Chargers not able to do anything with that great field position classic Chargers this game so Lamar Jackson you know still turning over the ball a little bit out here and luckily this was a block game so it didn't kind of come back to haunt him Rushing attack for the Ravens. Devontae Freeman. Oh, I'm loving that. Devontae Freeman, the leading rusher for the Ravens. Shout out Devontae Freeman, man. Always kind of a tier two running back out here. Getting passed around the league the last couple of seasons and has found a decent fit here in Baltimore. So shout out to him. Uh, nine carries, 53 yards and a touchdown. Lamar Jackson, eight carries, 51 yards. Latavius Murray also shout out Latavius Murray as well. I'm loving the running backs here. Nine, uh, nine carries for 44 yards and a touchdown. And then late. Le'Veon Bell getting his first action, folks. Eight carries, 18 yards, and he scored a touchdown. Ooh, we're definitely going to be spotlighting these running backs um, in our Wednesday film study. We'll watch them all, uh, see what they do well, uh, see which one we like the best, how we should order them, and let's see what Le'Veon Bell was giving us in his first return to action here. Um, so... Well done with the rushing game with the Ravens, like always. And let's see who Lamar Jackson was throwing to. Mark Andrews, five receptions, 68 yards, one touchdown leading receiver here. Once again, tight end university, baby. Got to shout out to tight ends. Give them all the credit. Marquise Brown, four reception, only 35 yards. Rashad Bateman getting into the mix. Love seeing that as well. Uh, you know, the rookie wide receiver here, four receptions, 29 yards. Devin Duvernay, two receptions, 15 yards. And then Latavius Murray getting into the action in the passing game as well, two receptions for 12 yards. So overall, it's seeming like all these pieces are coming together. Rushing, passing, healthy, balanced attack, 34 points, a blowout win, dominant win here, and everybody getting into the action. So... Ravens, folks, sheesh, I think we're going to be uh, moving them up a little in our power rankings. The only thing that is a little concerning is Lamar Jackson with the two interceptions. Must clean that up. Starting to get a little bit too comfortable with all these turnovers uh, because this Ravens team is so explosive and they are able to kind of change the game on a dime. If they're down 10, they can instantly get back in the game. We saw that, you know, last week against the Colts. So, once again, stop getting comfortable with the interceptions. Once again, the Chiefs are getting comfortable with the turnovers. You cannot get comfortable with the turnovers. They must clean it up here. So we'll start to kind of keep an eye on this Ravens team. It's not affecting them in the win department quite yet, but there are still, you know, concerns to be had. So we are going to, once again, keep an eye on this Ravens turnovers. Must clean it up. But well done for the big win here, 34-6. to